Okay, now we know how to open and read content out of a text file. And in this lecture, we'll go ahead and learn how to write content inside a file, a text file. So we're still working with text files. Uh, later, we'll be using the same methods, but applying those to binary files. So I'll go ahead and shift right click here and open command window here so that I have a command line open in this current directory. Therefore, that allows me to pass relative paths when I work with Python, uh, which is like uh, directly example.txt. Uh, so if you open your command line from here, for instance, as you know, for from C, uh, you would want to pass full paths, which would be something like D and colon and then backslash Dropbox, backslash PP files, backslash example.txt, if you wrap Python from here. For convenience, uh, it's good to open uh, the directory in the current directory in your working directory. And mine is here, PP backslash files. Uh, yeah. mm. Here's the command line. I'll now go ahead and trigger a Python interactive session there. And I'll go ahead and create a file with Python. Again, luckily the syntax is the same almost. So you use a open method and store the file that you'll be creating in a variable. Let's call this file, uh, so let's name it example.txt. And this time you don't want to pass R, you want to pass W, which stands for write. You execute that, and immediately you get this example.txt file, uh, which for now it's an empty file. So the open method, what it does is, it doesn't only open an existing file, it also creates a file where that, where that file doesn't exist. So in this case, if this example.txt file uh, was already in our uh, working directory, uh, what Python would do, it would open that file, and that file would be ready to, to write content inside it. When that file is not there, Python will create it. So now we can go ahead and say file.write. We don't use read, we use write in this time. And there you pass the string that you want to write in there. Let's say line one. You execute, and you get some return there, which is not very important, but uh, for your curiosity, uh, six means you wrote six characters to your file. And now probably you're wondering and looking at this example, the TXT file, which is still empty, so it doesn't have the line one string written inside. Uh, the reason to that is uh, this example.txt file is still open inside Python, and every change that you're making inside Python, it only exists inside the Python program. So you haven't yet saved the changes to your example.txt file, and that means when you open it with another program such as Atom, you still get the old file. And if you also try to uh, delete this uh, file, you'll not be able to do so because that is open in Python. So, um, to write the changes in there, you want to use the close method. Close, and now if you go to Atom, you'll see a line one in the example.txt file. And that's how to write content inside a file. Now, something important that you should know is, if you want to add an, a second line to this example.txt file, uh, you probably would do uh, you'd open the file, so file open uh, example.txt in your write mode, and then you'd probably add line 2 in there, and then probably close the file. But what you get is uh, line 2 only. The reason to that is uh, the w method is not an append method. So for adding more lines to your existing text file, you'd want to use the append method, which you'll learn in the next lecture. So write method, uh, what it does is it actually creates an empty file and then it allows you to write uh, uh, everything that you want inside that empty file. That said, 
It's still possible to add multiple lines using the right method, but you will have to do that in one session. So that means uh, you open, you create a text file, and then say uh, file right uh, line one, and then file right line two, and then close the file. And what you get is this text. So you get both line one and two, uh, but that's probably not what you expected exactly. Uh, what you're expecting is probably a line one in a separate line and line two under that. So to do that, remember that we had this backslash and special character. That will allow you to create a new line just after line one. And then when you write line two and then close the file, you'll get a text file with uh, two separate lines. However, if you had to write a long list of lines there, let's say you have 20 lines, you want to write uh, and executing the right method 20 times wouldn't be very efficient. So what you could do is use a for loop to write all the lines using one single right method inside the loop. So normally you'd have uh, a list or any other object. You may have an Excel file or CSV file with lines. And let's say you have three, three items in there. Line one, line two, line three. And if you want to write these three lines in your example of txt file, you'd want to iterate. Let's say for item in uh, L, which is the list, file.write. Item here would be, uh, in the first iteration, item would be line one, and then line two, line three. So you want to write item, and maybe it's a good idea to use backslash n. So after line one, you want to create a new line and then write line two after that. So item plus backslash n. And yeah, that should do it. And nope, that didn't do it because Python cannot operate on a closed file. So this file variable is actually a closed file object now. And you want to open that uh, first. Because you know we closed it here and therefore you need to apply the open method again. So again file and open, uh, you open that file and then go ahead and say for item in L and we do this. Execute. That was successful but you still don't see the changes in your uh, txt file because you need to close the file. And yeah. A line 1, line 2, line 3. That worked perfectly. So if you get this error another time, you know that you first need to open a file in Python, then you want, then you apply uh, write or read methods to that file. So that's about the write mode. In the next lecture, we'll go ahead and append some more lines to this existing text file. So I'll see you there.